I'm Colonel Dale Jackson. I'm the State Emergency Preparedness Liaison Officer for the Defense Coordinating Element assigned to FEMA Region 5. As uh, emergency preparedness liaison officers uh, within the state, we're essentially uh, uh, LNOs and the uh, go between to ensure uh, communication and coordination uh, between FEMA, our defense coordinating element, which falls under uh, um, Army North and, uh, and uh, US Northcom, and whoever the supporting DOD element. And in this um, circumstance, it's the US Air Force Vaccine Detachment, oh, uh, which is on the ground here. Uh, so whenever there is a disaster declared in the United States, a presidential um, disaster, there's always a lead federal agency that's put in um, charge of um, coordinating with um, local officials, officials to respond. Because it's important to underscore the reason that we uh, come in is it, it's on an invitation. So something's going on in the, in the state um, at the local area that, they, that there's a demand, there's a capability that they can't meet. They turn to FEMA and say, is there a federal agency that can help meet this demand, meet this capability, or has this capability that we don't have within the state? And FEMA looks around, uh, uh, does a, essentially a mission analysis, looks at the other federal agencies that, uh, that are available, and uh, when appropriate, after uh, discussing it with us, to, uh, discussing it with the defense coordinating officer, uh, we can determine together, yeah, that's, a, that's a, um, uh, something that we as the DOD can accomplish, it's, uh, it's appropriate. And then uh, what we call the, uh, the mission assignment um, process and, and allocating a DOD resource to carry that out um, starts from there. In a mission like this, the Department of Defense will never be the lead federal agency. We'll always be supporting in support of FEMA or uh, another uh, civilian federal agency that's, that's been um, tasked depending upon the, the mission. As the state um, EPLO, or Emergency Preparedness um, Officer, I'm the liaison uh, to the, the lead FEMA uh, individual on the ground, which in this case we, we call them the, the branch director. And uh, we're um, simply here to do what um, LNOs do. So a lot of planning and operations, which requires a lot of um, communication and um, coordination and crosstalk, that's multi-agency. Um, so we help turn uh, all that uh, emergency preparedness language and military language and, um, and crosstalk and coordination that uh, uh, needs to um, uh, occur into a, uh, a common language, common, um, common platform, and we bring all the different uh, components uh, that are required for DOD to engage in a synchronous manner into the um, operation um, together. As EPLOs, uh, we are board selected for our position based on our um, background and unique skill sets. So I'm a medical officer, but we also, just like the rest of the military, we have engineers, uh, we have um, um, pilots, uh, um, aviators, um, with the, uh, not only the professional background, but the um, personal skill set in order to do this mission. This is a, a very rewarding mission for someone who's in the uh, um, Army Reserve um, to partake in, because we seldom have an opportunity uh, to, su to support the homeland directly, to support the, 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 the people of the United States um, directly within the, the borders of the United States. So it's, it's, very, uh, it's, it's very exciting, it's very rewarding to be able to work in an environment that's primarily civilian. So for, for me particularly, I'm, I'm an emergency physician. Uh, in my civilian role, I'm the uh, medical director uh, for EMS and emergency management for the Sparrow Health System, which is located here in the capital of Michigan. So myself and, and several others uh, who are here on ground, we've been uh, engaged in the COVID fight um, from, the, from the very beginning. Um, primarily in my uh, um, civilian role, so I still see uh, uh, patients. I, I do emergency shifts um, throughout the month. And when I'm not doing that, I'm doing my uh, administrative duties. Uh, to, to have the opportunity as an Army Reservist to be called um, uh, in my state EPLO role and to be activated in my own home state and come on uh, active duty um, to support uh, what, what essentially is a whole of government um, effort in the Ford Field um, uh, COVID vaccination center is a rare rewarding opportunity that we don't often um, get and uh, in other, uh, other type of Army Reserve or, uh, or active duty assignments that we can have. Um, what's unique uh, to me in this role 
is because I'm a physician who happens to be in, in EPLO in the middle of a, a pandemic, I'm called to active duty and I'm working with um, individuals who I know in my civilian role and I have to cross into a, a federal status and work with them uh, in, in uniform. And, uh, and two, two persons in particular, the, the, the medical director for this mission is a physician who I um, highly um, ad admire and respect, Dr. Rockoff. Um, from the Henry Ford Health System, who's the medical director of the site. Uh, we've known each other and, and worked as colleagues for um, 10 years. And we've been, um, uh, although we're different um, health systems, we've been right there you know, side by side um, fighting COVID from the beginning. The, the other thing that, uh, that definitely touches home is my wife works as the system director for quality, safety, and emergency management for Henry Ford System. So here I am in a federal status um, activated to support uh, my hometown, um, working uh, side by side uh, with, um, with, with FEMA, uh, the Michigan State Police, Michigan Department of Health and Human Services, um, my spouse, and um, a dear um, physician colleague um, of mine. And that is a, a rare opportunity and um, one that has been um, seamless, um, um, professional, and uh, one I think we will all uh, cherish, uh, knowing that we all uh, played our very special role in killing the virus together uh, years from now as we look back on all of this.